What is it like when you have a very clay bamboo horse by your side? Hello everyone, today I bring you a youthful pure love BL drama my only 12%. The story begins on a normal and cowsy morning. Gloria didn't sleep in, tucked his clothes into his shorts as usual, greeted his mom, brought dumplings for breakfast, and turned right to his bamboo horse Cake's house. Gloria was always loved by the adults, and Cake's mom did the same for Gloria. After all, Gloria is the only one who can wake up her son, who likes to sleep in. When the door opened and Gloria saw that Cake was sleeping, his little heart began to pound. Cake's shy expression perfectly expresses Gloria's inner world. That's right, Gloria has a crush on her bamboo horse. Despite the fact that it feels that there is only a 12% chance of the two falling in love, K is willing, with all his heart, to commit to this grand crush. Gloria is a good student and never sleeps in. But Cake is different. Cake is obsessed with sleeping. Even when his mom comes to wake him up, he still has to struggle for a while. Not to mention Gloria. The difference is that when he hears that Gloria is the one who wakes him up, he is in a very good mood. Even if Gloria had been making a lot of noise, he was still smiling the whole time. The two incidentally brought up a discussion about breakfast. After this was settled, one went to wash up and the other cleaned up the house. That atmosphere is really so easy on the heart, especially when the two are bickering. Gloria is introverted, so Kate accompanies her when she goes to school and rides the bus. Even on a crowded bus, these two can make their own little world. Gloria will notice when the other person is sweating and ask them to find a tissue from their book bag. He would punch Cake in the face for wiping his hands on his bag after eating dumplings. Similarly, he would be swept off his feet by Cake when he was unsteady. Only such days are ultimately short-lived. The car arrives at the station, and the relationship between them is not the same. In fact, Gloria and Kate are literally best friends. When Gloria was born, Cake had been waiting for him in his crib for quite some time. So the two were literally together from a very young age. They ate together, bathed together, slept together, and went to school together. When Gloria eats and gets something stuck to the side of his mouth, Cake even wipes it off himself. These various experiences are destined to create a closer bond between them. So, when Cake screwed the cap on Gloria's bottle at school, the two of them didn't think anything of it, but it looked different to the rest of the class. Even though Gloria had Cake to defend him, he ultimately didn't like being surrounded by everyone like that, causing the two to not have much interaction in school afterwards. Even though he was already hungry, he didn't want to come over to Cake's side because of the location of the meal, but of course there were exceptions. One of them is Cake's repeated invitations, coupled with the coaxing of classmates but still have to make sure that they will not be allowed to sit next to Cake to do so. Another situation is when Cake has to copy his homework. Cake doesn't like to do his homework, and to keep himself from being punished, Cake often goes to Gloria to get his homework copied. Although Gloria said she wouldn't give it to him, when Cake sat her day beside her and pampered herself, Gloria could not help but soften her heart. While the other students would find it strange, and Cake didn't really like the idea of the two pretending to be unfamiliar with each other in school. But who told Gloria it was Gloria's idea? Cake could only agree. Cake was not much older than Gloria, but he still looked after Gloria a lot of the time. Not communicating at school is one. After school it's obvious that you can't take the bus right in front of the school. But Cake prefers to walk a long way to the next stop to take the bus. Who told Gloria not to like crowded places? So even when they got on the bus, it was packed with people. Cake didn't complain about anything. And as for Gloria, she wouldn't have a problem with it. After all, now that school was over, Cake could have him all to himself. Yes, Gloria had always been clear that the only Cake who really belonged to him was the one outside of school. Because at this time, Cake's eyes were full of Gloria. They could show their closeness with impunity. Who asked the two to grow up together? Cake at school is a different story. Cake was very outgoing and had a lot of friends. Unlike Gloria herself, who only has Lonnie and you as her friends besides Kate, he can't even buy his favorite milkshake until it's just him and his boss. Cake wants Gloria to make more friends, but Gloria doesn't want to. Sometimes he gets frustrated when he sees Cake messing around with the other students at assembly, but he also gets excited when the two of them look at each other without realizing it. 
Gloria would also get depressed when Cake would talk to girls and forget about himself. The hand that was so easily extended towards each other will also be withdrawn in a flash. It must be said that the mind of a young boy is always so twisted and cute. After school that day, Gloria and Cake met at the bus stop as usual. Cake is also very smooth to eat each other's leftovers and also give him to wipe his mouth. After waiting for the bus to arrive and then getting on and off the bus together, the two jostled around and went to the store to buy snacks. While they dislike each other, when they get to the store, Gloria will pout and tell Cake what she wants. Cake will tease him for a while before granting his wish. This is the best thing in the world. But when she got home, Gloria was really disappointed by the news she learned. In fact, in his heart, he likes this arrangement very much. Because his grandmother was sick, his mom had to take care of her, so he was left at Cake's house. Then the two of them will be able to eat and sleep together again, and the time they spend together will increase again. But there was also the matter of Cake having to copy his homework. That night, Cake was at Gloria's house. Gloria had watched the other guy do his homework, and her own attitude was pretty firm at first. But he really couldn't resist the other guy's pampering offense, and soon lost the battle, bringing along a baton snogging activity. <laughs> Late at night, when Gloria's brother came home to see the two of them in bed, just like he was used to. Even though it's the same thing, every day is a different situation, and this one is no different. After school, the two got on the bus again, only this time they were both worried about the same thing, which was what the two would do if it rained. In fact, to be precise, Gloria was the only one who needed to worry, because who told Gloria that her body was weak, and she would get sick if she didn't pay attention. This time was no exception. It was raining outside while the two were on the bus. Cake was considerate enough to ask Gloria to use her school bag to block the rain later, so that she wouldn't get her hair drenched and cause a fever. Just as he finished, he handed Gloria her bag. After arriving at the station, the two of them got off the bus one after the other, but Gloria stepped into a mud puddle when she got off the bus. The white socks were covered in mud, and Cake even wiped the mud and tied his shoes for him. Gloria was very happy. It was then that Gloria realized that Cake's knee was injured from playing soccer. Gloria was puzzled because during the soccer game, Gloria was reading in the hallway, and her eyes were focused on Cake, but she didn't even realize that he had fallen down. Gloria was worried about Cake's wound, but Cake was focusing on Gloria. After all, it was a rainy day and they didn't have umbrellas. So Cake held Gloria's hand and flew all the way home, afraid that the next second Gloria would get sick. It was just as they expected, and even though they both took a quick shower when they got home, Gloria still got sick. However, I have reason to suspect that Gloria's illness was caused by jealousy in addition to the rain. In the past, both of them would stay together after coming back home, but that day, Cake not only finished the meal quickly, but also used MSN to chat with her sister directly, even ignoring him. So it's no wonder Gloria was upset. Worrying about someone else stealing cake is something that Gloria has worried about the most since she was a little girl. So the next morning, Gloria lived up to her name and came down with a fever. The amazing thing is that Cake, who has always been a sleeper, woke up instantly when his mom told him to get up. Is it because there is a eater next to them? Anyway, Gloria didn't go to school by herself and Cake didn't go either. Because Gloria had a fever and he got a headache himself. And the truth is, when he was sick, Gloria was really too clingy and couldn't even stand to be away from the other person for a while. When Cake left his side, he was still silently shedding tears under the quilt, which was funny and adorable. When Cake returns to Gloria's side, the two simply become Siamese twins, neither of them wanting to be separated from the other. Gloria was even more mouthy saying that Cake should go and help Cake's mom by bringing the food upstairs. But her actions were totally different. His whole body is attached to the other. Gloria's illness has made Cake all behave. Not only does he not sleep anymore, he asked his mom to replace his favorite fried sausage with meatloaf. After all, he is the one who eats with Gloria, and it would be a torture for Gloria to eat while she watches. At night, Gloria was still running a fever. So Cake kept rubbing his body to cool him down. 
One day, when Gloria brings cake water with great anticipation, ready to hand it to him on the field, she realizes that cake happily accepts it, handed to him by a girl. The smile and gentleness on his face makes Gloria look uncomfortable, combined with the fact that their time at home is also taken up by Kick's chats with his schoolmates. It makes Gloria suddenly feel panicked, as if she no longer matters to Kate. With this feeling, in the morning Gloria very rarely woke Keiko. Taking the bus to school together, Gloria treats him perfunctorily, and although Kate senses it, he doesn't think much of it. Gloria asks her friend if he ever felt that at some point, it was no longer important to some people. But the other man explains it in terms of what happened to him and his own brother. And although the two men aren't talking in the same direction, they're still connected in some ways. After a lesson, Gloria looks over at Cake out of habit, but backs away from him just as she's about to lock eyes with him. The line in Cake's eyes instantly disappeared when he saw this. But when his classmates talked to Cake, Cake became optimistic again in an instant and completely forgot about Gloria. It's really hard to know what to say. When Gloria was planning to go to the cafeteria with his friends, but when he saw Cake across the street, he became scared again and sulked to buy bread for lunch. Il, who said something was wrong, went to find Gloria after the meal and acted as a caring big brother for a while. <laughs> while it didn't work much, he managed to change the topic with the physical fitness test. In the physical fitness test, Gloria prepared for the running test with everyone. In the end, Gloria fainted as soon as she started. Cake rushed up to check on Gloria's condition, but when he saw Gloria like this, Cake asked his classmates if they had any medication with them, as if he knew something. When he got a negative answer, Cake didn't say anything, but just looked at Gloria worriedly and fanned him. When Gloria woke up in the infirmary, Cake was right there with him, staring at him without blinking. After a lot of back and forth between the two, Cake was finally chased away by Gloria. The reason for this was that it was class time, and Cake had always been a bit of a pain in the ass in some ways. Cake has never been a match for Gloria in some ways, so naturally he would listen to her this time, not to mention the fact that the two of them have had a bit of a falling out in the last couple of days. Together with that, Cake's attitude towards Gloria is not as natural as it used to be. But Cake still wanted to be nice to Gloria, so he looked at the other side with a resigned look and made the other side promise to wait here for him to come and pick him up. Gloria has never been able to do anything about Cake, not to mention that the other person's expression was very emotional, so Gloria naturally agreed with the other person helplessly. Perhaps sick people are always very fragile, plus Gloria's mind has always been very sensitive. Tears are even set to flow, but at least there is cake to wipe him. This point really let everyone envy. The two of them arrived home only to find out that Gloria's mom is back. This also means that Gloria is moving back to her own home. Gloria is still unilaterally upset with cake, so she avoids a lot of things as much as she can. But cake won't let the other side get what they want, and when he does, Gloria will have to go even if she doesn't, like for example, to the movies. You talk to him about it during the day, and at night he used it to avoid cake. Only the two ended up watching a movie together, but what Gloria didn't expect was that it would be a horror movie. While he held himself together and didn't show weakness in front of Kate, he was attracted by the fact that Kate had vacated the seat next to him, plus the fact that he was really scared, so Gloria pounced on him without saying a word. Seeing this, Kate naturally mocked Gloria a few times. However, the most important thing was the twist between himself and Gloria, and used the opportunity to successfully get back together with Gloria. Kate coaxes Gloria out of the movie after his goal is accomplished. Gloria hesitates and turns off the movie. After the reconciliation, the two of them return to their old ways of getting along with each other. Kate asked Gloria to take a shower first. But Gloria was a bit scared and asked him to guard her at the door. Cake was so scared that he asked Gloria to guard the doorway. Gloria called Cake's name when she was in the shower. Cake answered him every time. As a result, Cake was not happy because he could always hear Gloria calling him in the shower. Gloria and Cake's mom bought both of them a cell phone. But Cake was so excited that he completely ignored Gloria because he was talking to his schoolmate. 
Even when they get to their room, Cake turns down Gloria's request to play checkers because he wants to talk to his schoolmate. Cake had promised Gloria that he would play with him after two hours, but he ended up waiting until Gloria fell asleep before Cake turned off the computer. But Cake didn't forget to tuck Gloria in. After arriving at school, Cake made an appointment with Yosef to come over to his house to play, and then he just chatted with his schoolmates and didn't eat any of the food, and the dishes were still put away by his friend's help. Cake's phone is not even on his cell phone when he is with Gloria, and he can't even delete his text messages even when they are full. <laughs> Gloria told Cake to go pack his bags and called him louder because Cake had been ignoring him. Finally, Gloria voices his displeasure, but when Cake goes soft on him and coaxes Gloria, Gloria instantly surrenders. Even when the other man told him to go back and take a shower before coming over, Gloria agreed even though it was hard for him. Gloria went out and closed the door, sighed and left, while Cake, unaware of Gloria's mental activities, was still immersed in the joy of chatting with his schoolmate. Gloria repeatedly backed down and the result was that Cake and Yosef were playing games on the sidelines, while he was acting as a servant, packing Cake's bags, carefully checking the items one by one. Gloria glanced at Cake, who was enthralled by the game, and then resigned herself to folding his clothes. Gloria called Cake's name countless times during the night, but only a few times did he say yes. But Gloria was allowed to turn off the lights in the room, when she said she was going to bed. It was really hard for Gloria to look at Cake, who was very excited to play with Yosef, but she couldn't stop the other person, so she had to digest such emotions by herself. Cake and Yosef were both sleepy, so they were ready to go to bed. But here, I'm going to feel sorry for Yosef, because Cake and Gloria are really too close. Yosef sensed the closeness between Gloria and Cake, but the two didn't think deeply about it. Cake also just expresses how important Gloria is to him, in a tone that is incredibly gentle. Yosef sleeps in a separate bed for him, while Cake goes straight to bed and cuddles up to Gloria for a good night's sleep. The two of them are simply so natural with each other, that it's not hard to imagine what the two of them are like in private. Gloria was a little worried, so when he was alone with Yosef the next morning, the whole thing just seemed rushed. His behavior even made Yosef think that the other man was interested in him. This is something that Yosef talked to Cake about after everyone got in the car. Once in the car, Cake was chatting with his older sister and was teased by Yosef about their relationship. Cake, however, said that he is not dating his schoolmate, but it's coming soon, so it seems that Cake really likes his schoolmate. It's just that I don't know when he's going to realize that he has feelings for Gloria. The two were talking about schoolmates, but Yosef's topic suddenly changed to Gloria. From his words, he can reveal that he knows and cares about Gloria, and says that Gloria is spoiled by his brother. But I didn't expect Yosef to say that he was spoiled by Kate. Not only that, Yosef also directly said that they will definitely separate in the future. <laughs> While Kate said that there is no personal space between him and Gloria, Kate has a sister now, so he can bring Gloria to everything. Hearing Yosef's words, Cake is also in thought, maybe he also senses that now and later are different, that's why he's so quiet. After arriving at the camp, Gloria chose the job of making fire, because she didn't want to go to a crowded place. While he's working hard, Cake notices Gloria's presence and helps him cook. The two of them are so messed up from cooking that they wipe each other's faces, ignoring the fact that their hands are all so dirty, so the result is predictable. However, Gloria's brother seems to have learned a lesson and is actively badgering Cake, which leads to retaliation from Cake. The two have forgotten the rule of not talking to each other because they are not in school. In front of their classmates, the two of them play recklessly, and with the ambiguous music, who wouldn't say that the two of them have a good relationship. Even the friends of the two have a problem with it. These two have simply forgotten about their existence, and the way they play around like this really makes them jealous. What else will happen to Gloria and Cake at the camp? That said, aren't these two a little to blame? But what's even more unexpected is their evening together. That night, Gloria and her best friend Lonnie get together with everyone and talk about the same ghost stories that Gloria is afraid of. After Gloria can't listen to any more, 
she tells Lonnie she's ready to go back. Lonnie knows that Gloria is scared and offers to take him home, which makes Gloria feel safe. At the dormitory, Tate, who is playing with his classmates, notices Gloria and is full of concern in every word, even asking Gloria to sleep with him at night. Gloria, though happy, refuses. After all, they weren't that close in school. But Kate kept insisting, and he was really scared, so they agreed. I have to say, that scene was really so sweet. After the event, the two went to clean up the mud on their legs, only to find out that Kate's leg was bleeding. But Kate didn't care, but Gloria was different, and she rushed to the doctor to fix him up. In the end, it's Kate who comforts the fragile Gloria. But there's more to Gloria's heartbreak. That night, everyone fell asleep, but Gloria still stubbornly waited for Kate, and after waiting for him, she realized that he had gone to be with his sister, and lost track of time. Poor Gloria was so mistreated. Afterwards, he pretends not to be scared and wants to sleep alone, regardless of what Kate thinks. After the camp was over, Gloria got in the car first and kept staring at Kate, but it was so focused on his cell phone that it didn't even see Gloria, which made Gloria mope the whole way. When they got home, Gloria and Kate agreed to go to Kate's house. When Gloria greeted her mother, she was still polite, but her bad mood was immediately apparent to her mom. Gloria entered his room in a depressed mood, not even having the energy to clean himself up, and flopped onto his bed. He reached for a cell phone and put it down again. It seems like it's still for love, but no matter what, the perks that should be there are still not missing. When Gloria was lying on the bed with a well-behaved face, Tate, who had noticed that Gloria was out of sorts in the slightest, kept thinking about his schoolmate. He told Gloria to go to sleep first, but he himself chatted with others until late at night before coming back, only to see Gloria who was still awake. However, he didn't think much of it, and coaxed Gloria a few times, so Gloria wasn't angry anymore. But Gloria was ultimately insecure in her heart. He and Cake have been together since they were kids, but Cake is now moving to his older sister and ignoring him all the time. Gloria inevitably has doubts about his place in Cake's heart. He desperately wants to know how important he is to the other. So, after getting that affirmative answer, he was finally willing to sleep as usual. Gloria is terrified of her place in Cake's heart, but to Cake, Gloria is the most special being. When his friend reminds him that he still has homework to finish, he is surprisingly worried that Gloria will be angry. He immediately discusses the nights, return with Pick and tackles his homework in the process. This kind of cake is indeed rare to see, even when the three of them go home together at night. Cake's eyes are full of light when he sees Gloria leaving. Pick couldn't look away and simply slapped Cake back to his usual self. But the two seemed to forget that the purpose of their visit was to do homework and just played games and ate. Kate goes straight to Gloria's house to get dessert, but Pig ends up getting curious about Gloria, and goes to Kate's house with great interest, asking about the name of the girl he met. Seeing this, Kate doesn't ask more questions, making it heartbreaking. After another school day, Gloria waited at the bus stop for more than an hour. As usual, this made Lonnie, who was waiting with Gloria, a little embarrassed because he had to go to rehearsal for a theater performance and he couldn't wait with him later. However, he could ask you to accompany him, but I guess you is busy too. So, Gloria puts on a strong face and says she can and it won't be long, even stating that she can take the bus home alone. The result is that the other person is broken down in seconds, because Lonnie has never seen Gloria go home alone before. But due to Gloria's repeated insistence, Lonnie eventually went ahead. While Gloria was waiting for Kate, a boy named Aid came up to her and started talking to her. Gloria doesn't realize what's going on, but slowly starts to talk to him. But Gloria is not good at chatting, and the first few words would have been awkward for anyone else, but Aid didn't care at all, and continued to chat with Gloria enthusiastically. This makes you wonder, if Aid has something in mind for the simple Gloria, or if he has something else in mind. We don't know yet. But Gloria was very happy. Aid's skill in finding a topic of conversation is very good, and with a few words, Gloria is able to laugh and see him as a good friend. During the short chat, they'd introduce themselves to each other. 
especially aid. He even disclosed his family's financial situation and invited Gloria to his home. Additionally, he was hypocritical enough to ask if he minded that his home was a bit small. Gloria was so happy to hear this that she instantly agreed to go with him, and agreed to go with him. Gloria was so excited about her new friend and the fact that her sister and Cake were with her, that she kept pushing Cake to do his homework. You don't have to tell me. Seeing Cake's agonized face was a relief. The two were eating the pastries brought by their sister when they heard her wanting them to go and help with the logistics for herself. Cake naturally agrees, but Gloria hesitates, reluctantly saying she won't do it. Even Cake's pouting can't change Gloria's mind. Cake sees that Gloria won't go, and he doesn't want to go either, but because of Gloria's persuasion, he agrees to go, and brings a few of his friends along with him. When the weekend comes, Cake and his buddies go to help Vanilla out. Cake and his buddies went to help Vanilla out, and naturally Pick, who had fallen in love with Vanilla at first sight, was among them, barely taking his eyes off each other. Cake and the others see this and start flirting with her, but nothing can be Pick's behavior. Vanilla came over to see the fruits of their labor, after she had been busy for a while, and said she was here to help them. But Vanilla, who was busy with her head down, instantly hit Pick's heart. Seeing that the other person got her face dirty, Pick smiled and went to help her wipe it off and even touched her face. This action directly made Vanilla shy, back to God directly after the excuse to leave, but ended up being their own classmates to make fun of. And this side of Pick also received the same treatment. After all, when he did this, Cake and the others were right next to him. When Vanilla left, they even mimicked the actions and conversations of the two. In the evening, Gloria's family managed to get together for dinner, but Gloria seemed to stand out. He neither smiles nor eats much, and anyone can tell he's distracted. After dinner, Gloria's attitude remained the same. Fenella looked on with compassion and offered to watch a movie, in hopes of changing Gloria's mood. This cheers Gloria up and she clears the table with Fenella. However, it has to be said that Fenella's choice of movie is a real coincidence. A complete rehash of Gloria and Cake's story. When Gloria and Cake saw the main characters in the movie having intimate behavior, their faces changed. Vanilla looks at Gloria and turns off the TV worriedly, seemingly regretting that she picked the wrong movie. Gloria, on the other hand, was in her room as if she had figured something out, and with a changing expression on her face, she quickly made an excuse to go back to her room. Once in her room, Gloria couldn't control her emotions and leaned against the door and cried. Looking at this expression, Gloria is aware of her feelings for Cake. But in order to confirm his feelings, he sneaked downstairs to finish watching the movie by himself while his sister went back to her room. After seeing the sadness of the main character in the movie, he was completely confused. But in order to keep his family from worrying, he could only pretend to be oblivious. In the morning, his brother is just able to take him to school and sends Gloria to get Kate. Gloria was a little scared to see Kate, but she went to his house to wake him up. Only this time, Gloria is not as natural as he used to be, and he has to do a little bit of mental construction to even touch. Kate still noticed his behavior, but Kate, being the big man that he is, didn't take it seriously. After arriving at the school, he even left Gloria alone, chatting with someone and then left not seeing Gloria's forlorn appearance behind him at all. When Gloria is alone in the library, her best friend Yu also notices that something is wrong with Gloria, and keenly reveals that the reason behind it is Cake. But Gloria is a tough talker, and even if you ask him, he just won't say anything, and keeps everything to himself. But Gloria's sensitivity isn't without its benefits, at least from Yu's questioning. He sensed you and Lonnie's relationship. The look on his face is also amusing. In the end, Gloria couldn't stand Yu's questions and urged you to hurry up and read the book. You had to let Gloria go. Gloria is still waiting at the familiar bus stop, but this time the person Gloria is waiting for is not Cake, but his new best friend Tad. The two of them left together as soon as Aid arrived. He is an expert in the field of playing. He took Gloria to play on the swing set. Gloria had never been here before and had never played on a swing set before, but with Aid's help, he had a pretty good time. Their laughter was all around them. Gloria and Cake remained in the same room, although they were in the same space. The two of them had been in different states for a long time. 
One was doing homework and the other was chatting on the computer. Just as Gloria sneaks a look at Kate, her eyes are all sadness as well, seeming to be about to overflow. Kate, on the other hand, was chatting happily with his sister on the computer, as if he didn't realize it, and anyone who looked at him would know that he was in love. The computer chat is not enough, the cell phone call between the two is even more essential. They talked for hours on end. In the end, Gloria was left alone. In this way, Gloria and Kate have reached a delicate balance. Gloria would go out with aid and try things. She hadn't tried before with aid's kinds. Kate still talks sweetly with his sister on the phone and on MSN. At night, he stayed with Gloria again. But then, why do you suddenly feel that Kate is a bit of a bad guy? Who does he care more about, his girlfriend on one side? and Gloria on the other, who he has grown up with and doesn't want to part with. But as Gloria and Aid get to know each other more and more, Aid's purpose is finally revealed. This day, after Aid and Gloria are swinging together, Aid excuses himself for not having any money with him, and then asks Gloria to pay for it. The first thing he did was to tell Gloria that he might have dropped the money on the ground and couldn't find it, and he even comforted Gloria by telling him not to worry about it. But then, he borrowed money from someone to go home, and Gloria didn't even realize that something was wrong. Additionally, he said he could borrow money from Cake if he didn't have any, so I guess Cake would be very angry if he found out. Gloria came home a little late this day, and was questioned by her mom about her relationship with Cake, who hasn't been coming to Gloria's house to sleep over lately. Gloria had to pretend to be busy to avoid her mom's questioning. Gloria has been suppressing her feelings for Cake ever since she realized that her feelings for Cake are not so innocent. Maybe it was the knowledge that Fenella was back today and his mom's inquiries that made him finally lose control. At night, he was alone by the river, sad and upset. When Fenella came over, Gloria couldn't help but tell Fenella what she had been hiding in her heart for a long time, including her feelings for Cake and her disgust with herself. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla saw Gloria crying so sadly. How could she stand it? After all, she's her own brother. But she can only patiently comfort the other side, telling the other side that no matter what, he is his brother. <laughs> this may be the blood relationship between relatives. How can not be broken, right? No matter what you look like, you will always be my family, always be your strongest support. At this time, Finella also recalled some things afterward. In fact, Gloria's wrongness has been revealed for a long time. It's just that I didn't think much of it at the time, and just as the two of them were caught up in their own thoughts, Cake saw them hugging each other in sadness, and his heart immediately felt bad. But he didn't go up to disturb them and could only stand silently in his place. When Gloria returned to her room, she saw Cake in his room. But at this moment, the two of them even became a bit awkward to get along. Gloria knew that Cake was going to sleep at her place, and after that, she excused herself to go and sleep with Finella, so that Cake could go back to her house to sleep. Seeing Gloria's eagerness to distance herself, Cake finally asks about Gloria's recent situation, and asks if Gloria is angry with her. Otherwise, she wouldn't be so distant. After a few questions from Cake, Gloria finally fails. He finally voices his displeasure and is adamant about not letting Cake meet his new friend, eh, and puts out a stern message for Cake to stay out of his business. When this was said, Cake was instantly heartbroken, and the irritated look on his face made Gloria very intolerant. He not only took the initiative to approach and comfort the other party, but also agreed to all of Cake's requests and resumed the usual sleeping position with Cake. That said, our little darling Gloria is worthy of understanding his own feelings. When he was doing his homework at home, Fenella came over, and after reporting how he and Cake were getting along, he couldn't help but be concerned about his sister. Afterwards, he was secretly asking Fenella about the status of Fenella and Pick, again saying that Pick was a playboy. Fenella's answer is naturally imaginable. But she can only pretend to know nothing about it. After all, she's the one who went to college. How can she not understand each other's mind? But she didn't show anything in front of Gloria and told Gloria to hurry up and do her homework. On the other hand, 
Pig's friends went to Pig's house to look for him, and they agreed to go to Cake's house to do their homework together. But the look on Pig's face showed that his purpose of going to Cake's house was definitely not pure. Pig's friends, naturally, can't easily guess what's on their minds, and they'd urge Pig to hurry up and get his homework and follow him up there. It was met with a heartless refusal. After arriving at the room, and seeing so many pictures of Vanilla around, I instantly realized that Pick really likes Vanilla. No wonder he won't let anyone else into the room. Gloria was still playing with Aid this day, and this time, she was even playing with Aid, bringing his brothers along. Gloria was having a really good time and had a lot more smiles on her face. And once again, Aid talked about his family and how hard it was for him and his dad to take care of his brothers. Gloria even said that she would often come to spend time with Aid and his brothers in the future. Gloria was really happy at this point. However, Kate called Gloria afterward, making Gloria's happiness disappear instantly. Kate asked Gloria to go home early and complained that she didn't tell him or introduce her new friends to him, and even came home so late. But Gloria uses the excuse that the other girl is with her older sister to leave the other girl speechless. But when Gloria heard that the other party was waiting for her at home, her heart still softened, but she could only force herself to hang up the phone as if nothing was wrong. But when he turned his head to Aid, it was a different story. He said it was his mom who urged him to go home. Aid could only agree, but then he took Gloria outside to a restaurant for a stir-fry noodle dinner and made a date to go to Gloria's house together next time for a meal and dessert cooked by Gloria's mom. But A didn't look very happy to hear the invitation. And Vanella on the other side was in a difficult situation. After school, she talked to her friend Miffy about Pig and was teased by Miffy about their relationship. But at this point, all Vanella could say was no way. Only, although she says so with her mouth, she may not feel the same way in her heart. It was originally intended to verbally reject the other party's invitation for a dinner date as a result. The other party failed the bitter trick, his or endured. On the way, she also disliked the other party's hard acting. But even so, Fenella still willingly agreed. Isn't this indicative of something? After that, Pig sends Fenella home, and when he says goodbye at the door, he catches the attention of Yu's mom, only to be stonewalled by Fenella. On the other hand, Gloria and Cake are still together, but they are a bit more rusty. Gloria was doing her homework while Cake was talking to her sister on the phone. By the time, Gloria was ready to turn off the light and go to bed, Cake had hung up. It was only then that the two had time to share their feelings, but it was still a familiar pattern, except that unlike in the past, this time the two were face to face with each other's eyes in the middle of their conversation. In this instant, the only thing left in their eyes was each other. The next episode, Gloria also finally knows the true nature of aid. He cried sadly. What will Kate, who has always spoiled Gloria, do and what will Kate's mom say to Kate? When Gloria arrived home, Kate, who was laughing, immediately became serious. The two of them have been having a little bit of a lover's quarrel, he said. Kate doesn't like it when Gloria comes home so late, but Gloria thinks it's okay. After all, it's not like they haven't come home late before. But Kate felt aggrieved, at least he never let Gloria come back alone. Once she heard Kate say this, Gloria instantly got weak and didn't know what to say, so she just stood there at a loss for words. In this way, the person who is heartbroken becomes Kate, and does not settle the score with Gloria, rushed to urge the other party to go to the bath. And at this time, the school sister called again. Hello? Gloria wanted to go to bed early after a long day of fun, but Kate still wanted to have a nice chat with Gloria. Only tonight Kate was destined to be very aggravated, listening to what Gloria had done today. He couldn't help but be jealous. He was jealous that Gloria stayed with Aid all the time, and jealous that Gloria went to eat fried river noodles, but didn't bring any for herself. Only at this point, Kate didn't seriously examine his own mood. He just suddenly felt that he was no longer important to Gloria and that the other person no longer needed his company. But this feeling was instantly dispelled when he heard Gloria say important without thinking. Even when he heard Gloria say she wanted to sleep, he still opened his arms. This position is familiar to both of them, 
and Gloria naturally leaned over to sleep. The next day, their lives continued on, but Cake's side seemed a little different. After school, Cake declined his friend's invitation to play soccer and walked with his best friend Yosef. While walking, Cake says that the reason he doesn't go to soccer is because his sister doesn't like it. Yosef doesn't have a problem with it, but turns to Gloria and asks about her attitude. But Cake is still a little aware of it. He knows that Gloria is pissed off, and he thinks it's because Gloria has a new friend, so she can't care about herself. But Yosef is the one who breaks it down, saying that it's really Cake who is jealous and angry, and that Cake has nothing to say in return, because that's just the way it is inside of him. Yosef tells Cake that there should be privacy between him and Gloria, only to have Cake reject it. He feels that he doesn't need any privacy between him and Gloria at all. But Yosef doesn't necessarily think so. After all, it seems that Cake's privacy is now his schoolmate. Cake couldn't argue and had to change the subject. After Cake said bye to Yosef, he bumped into you, Gloria's best friend, face to face. You could see that Gloria had suffered a lot recently because of Cake, so she was inevitably a bit unpleasant when talking to Cake. Especially after realizing that Cake had met aid, he was outright mocking that he was the one who obviously didn't have the time. Cake, however, felt that he was helpless. After all, on the one hand is a friend since childhood, on the other hand is his girlfriend. He can't not help her. Huh? You couldn't say anything about it, but wished him and his sister happiness. In fact, he doesn't want Gloria to continue to be hurt by care. Gloria is always with Tack these days, and on this day, he saw that Tack is always a bit worried so he couldn't help but go up to him and ask him what's wrong. Gloria is always with him, and he can help but ask him what's wrong with him, and that they need to get some money together, in order not to be forced out by the landlord. As soon as Gloria heard that her friend was in trouble, she said that she could help out a little bit and generously said that she could lend him 5,000 cuts. This kind of behavior made Aid very thankful. On the other hand, Cake often comes to the drama club with his friends to help Vanilla. Naturally, Pick is one of them, and is even happy to hear that he can't play opposite Vanilla, which is teased by Cake and his friends. But that day, by chess, Vanilla overhears the drama club, saying that there is something wrong with anyone who falls in love with a middle schooler. This makes Vanilla's heart hurt, and it seems that Vanilla still has some thoughts in her heart. After the club activities, Vanilla and a senior were chatting happily. But Pick felt a little uncomfortable when he watched. Even when the senior invited them to go to dinner together, he couldn't be happy. Pick can only look at the object of his affections during the meal, talking and laughing with other boys, but he can't do anything. In short, it's very sad. On this day, Gloria goes to Cake's house in the morning to provide Cake's exclusive wake-up call. Cake was rushed to wash up by Gloria after they played around for a while. The two even fantasized about what they would look like this time next year, and the vibe was nothing short of amazing. On their way out the door, they were stopped by Cake's mom, who really hated her son's bad habit of sleeping in, and said what would he do without Gloria. Then, when they were getting ready to go to school, Cake's mom stopped Cake and said a few words to him. And because of those few words, Cake was distracted all day. He fidgeted when he got in the car, he fidgeted during class, and even his usual dash to the cafeteria when the bell ring was gone. This worried Gloria so much that she took the initiative to look for Cake at his seat, and even when she went to eat, she didn't forget to tell Cake to eat more. However, Gloria's behavior of acting as if no one else exists, except for Cake, is also very frustrating. <laughs> After saying goodbye to the melancholic Cake, Gloria went to the cafeteria to meet his friends Yu and Loni who were waiting for him. A few people also talked about the recent changes in Gloria. However, Gloria is still worried about Aid's family. After dinner, Loni wanted to go to the bathroom, but because the nearest restroom was locked, and Loni didn't want to run to the next school building, he had to go to the restroom near the cafeteria. Though it stinks there, it turns out that it was because of this sudden detour that Gloria overheard Aid's conversation with her best friend and realized that she had been swindled by Aid with the 5,000 plants she had lent out. Gloria is saddened to learn that the 5,000 plants she lent were swindled by Aid, especially with the untimed words that came out of his mouth. 
Gloria was so upset that she didn't even have the courage to argue with Aid, but instead, she turned around and fled the scene in tears. But coincidentally, the image of his tears was seen by Cake. Cake tries to find out what's wrong with Gloria, but Gloria doesn't want to say anything and runs off. Just as Lonnie comes over, Cake stops Lonnie and strong arms him into telling him who really made Gloria cry. The fierce look on Lonnie's face made him hesitate, and he immediately told him that the culprit was Aid. Gloria was in a corner grieving, when suddenly Lonnie rushed over to tell Gloria that Cake had been called to the discipline office. Gloria knew that Lonnie had told Cake what had happened, but Lonnie was helpless. If she didn't tell Cake, she was afraid that it would be herself and Cake in the guy's office now. Gloria didn't care what to say. She and Lonnie quickly ran to the door of the training center. Gloria wanted to go in and explain everything, but was stopped by Lonnie and you. They were persuaded repeatedly, which dissuaded Gloria. The anxious Gloria was even more worried when she realized that she had to call her parents. He couldn't even calm down during class. It was hard to wait until the end of the class. Gloria ran directly to Kate, concerned about the other party's condition. But Kate still looked like he didn't care and was still playing with his friends. Gloria can only stand by and watch. The mom who learned that Kate had hit someone expressed her heartache, but Gloria was brave enough to tell the truth, saying that it was all her own fault and that Kate had gotten into trouble because she was helping her. And next to her, Cake is looking at Gloria with an unspeakable expression. After arriving home, Gloria was devastated, but luckily, Gloria's brother was there. He was very patient and told Gloria some things about being a human being. He told him that you can't judge a person by just looking at one side of them, and hopefully he will grow after this. <laughs> การเชื่อใจคนง่ายไปก็ไม่ดีไว้ใจคนยากไปก็ไม่ดีเหมือนกันยิวต้องพยายามหาตรงกลางให้เจอ The atmosphere is completely different from Gloria's side. Cake's family is simply joyful. Cake's mom still wants to teach Cake a lesson, even though she knows that Cake was trying to protect Gloria and avenge her death. And the whole family approves of Cake's intentions. After all, who asked him to hit someone? This is also to let him learn a lesson. It seems that Cake's mom is a very open-minded mother. And I believe that she will not be too opposed to the relationship between the two after this. But it's clear that Cake won't tell Gloria what's really going on. He would just keep protecting Gloria and making him happy and joyful. Even if he yells at Gloria, it's a very important and undeserved thing for him to apologize to Gloria again and again for the incident. And Gloria has always blamed herself for causing Cake to get hurt. But Cake always knows how to make Gloria feel better. And a hug is all it takes to make up for the two of them. Only this time, Cake was a little more worried. He hoped that in the future, Gloria could take care of herself and not let herself worry. Even though she was going through a lot of bad things that day, Gloria kept in her mind what Cake's mom and Cake said alone. He tried to get Cake to talk in every way possible, but Cake couldn't say anything. Especially when he looks at Gloria in front of him, he can't say anything. And he can't only worry about it day after day and night after night. Cake knows that his friend Thick likes Gloria's sister Fenella and finds an excuse to take Pick to Gloria's house to play. Gloria, on the other hand, does whatever Cake tells her to do. Only because of waiting too long, Gloria are sleepy. Had to be honest with Cake. In fact, he is not clear Fenella this night will not come back. But Cake didn't care and told Pick to wait. And Gloria went upstairs to take a shower. Pick was waiting for a long time, but no one paid any attention to him. But finally, Fenella came home, which he had been longing for. When he saw the script in Fenella's hand, plus the fact that Fenella was muttering something as soon as he entered, he guessed something. So he took the initiative to tell Fenella that it could help Fenella rehearse the content of the script. Fenella didn't know if she was too embarrassed to say no, or she couldn't say no to the other person. So she agreed to the other person's request. The two of them took it very seriously at the beginning of the rehearsal. However, when it comes to the later part of the show, it's all about Pick confessing his love to Fenella through the script. Fenella is not a fool, and she's not a wooden person without feelings. So she naturally hears what Pick is saying. But what Pick doesn't know is that on this very day, when Fenella and her friend went to the supermarket to buy cotton swabs, they happened to overhear two ants. Talking about a girl who was dating a boy ten years younger than herself. 
They said it was a shame. Fenella heard it in her ears, but remembered it in her heart. And besides, it's not the first time she's heard such gossip, and in her heart she cares about what others think. So, when faced with Pig's confession, she first used the line to say how she felt, and then even chose to stop Pig from continuing, and also rejected Pig sideways. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have a good understanding of what you are doing. A goes to pay Gloria back and sincerely apologizes to Gloria. Gloria also says what she really thinks at this point. Gloria wants to listen to A talk about his family because he doesn't have a father and brings this feeling to A. It turns out that he and A are thinking the exact opposite of each other and that's how this wrong intersection came about. Gloria doesn't know what the other man wants from her, but she wants from him the companionship and friendship she has been waiting for. In the face of Gloria's honesty, A didn't know what else to say, so he apologized again. Gloria accepts. Then Gloria went downstairs to find Cake waiting for her. The first thing Cake said when he saw Gloria was to ask the other what took him so long to come down. Gloria just replied that Aid apologized and accepted it herself. While Cake didn't understand, he smiled with satisfaction after hearing Gloria's explanation. And Gloria was in the mood to flirt with Cake and asked the other if he was going to find his schoolmate. If so, he went to you himself. But to Gloria's surprise, Cake chose to put aside the company of his girlfriend today and instead wanted to go home with himself. Not only that, Cake also took Gloria to the river where they always go to play. This makes Gloria very happy. However, what he didn't notice was the sadness that Cake couldn't hide from his face. When Gloria arrives at the river, she asks Cake about the reason behind her unsuccessful float with a rock. Cake not only tells Gloria that her posture is wrong, but he also teaches her how to play the game, and he even explains clearly what kind of stones to pick. Gloria finally succeeded in the game under Cake's guidance and happily showed off to Kate. Cake also smiled and praised Gloria as usual, stroking Gloria's hair, but there was an undetectable sadness on his face. The words were coming out of his mouth, but he never said them, instead he made an excuse that he was hungry. Gloria also noticed that it was late and was afraid that the two of them would be scolded by Cake's mom. Cake echoed Gloria's words and carried Gloria home like it did when he was a kid. On the way back, the two of them are still talking and laughing like they were kids, reminiscing about the past. Of course, at this point, Cake still hasn't changed his jealous nature and tortured himself by asking about Gloria's time with Tech and how important he is in Gloria's heart. The result is that he is easily amused by Gloria. And at that moment, they arrived home just in time. The fun times always fly by. Gloria was having dinner with Cake's family, and the atmosphere was so happy that Gloria was thinking about their future together. But Cake's father inadvertently revealed that the family, including Cake, was going to the United States. This caused Gloria and Cake to turn pale, and everyone suddenly became very quiet. Gloria's unaware face wandered across everyone's faces, and it was only then that Cake revealed to his parents that he hadn't yet told Gloria the truth. Cake's parents are not sure why he hasn't told Gloria yet, and he can hide it from Gloria anymore. Cake takes Gloria outside to talk to her on the same bridge they walked on during the day, which holds a lot of good memories for both of them. When Gloria asks about what just happened, Cake is ready to explain it to Gloria. But before he said that, he didn't forget to make Gloria swear that she can't cry, can't lose her temper, and can't leave herself. Once he got the other's promise, Cake started to tell Gloria everything that had happened. What Cake's mom had to say to herself before was that the family was going abroad for three years. Because their father is going to work in America for three years, the family will have to go there and they will be given a place to live. Gloria's expression started to change after listening to Cake's explanation and she couldn't hold back her tears. The things that he had promised Cake before, all of them didn't count anymore. When he knew that Cake wouldn't be his neighbor, when he knew that he wouldn't have Cake in his life for three years, he was really sad. Cake, who has never seen Gloria cry, couldn't control his expression when he saw Gloria crying in front of him once again. 
the always strong man also shed tears, but still kept comforting Gloria. Both of them were helpless to deal with this situation, Gloria even more so. All he could think about now was running away from it all, wanting to be left alone, because he didn't want to be the bad guy himself, and didn't want to snap at Cake. But Cake didn't mind, he'd rather Gloria lose his temper in front of him than look like he didn't want to talk to him right now. The next morning, Gloria went to Cake's house as usual, ready to wake him up. But when he opened the door, he saw Cake sitting on his bed, fully dressed, waiting for him. This was very different from the usual, but the sadness on both of their faces was very obvious. After Gloria's questioning, she realized that the reason why Cake was so abnormal was because he had been worrying about Gloria last night when he told her that he was leaving the country. He was so afraid that the other person would not come to wake him up, that he could not sleep well before he got up so early perversely. Even though Gloria says she's not mad, Kate keeps worrying. The two had a rare breakfast at home, before taking the bus to school together. To spend more time together, Gloria finally found the courage to follow Kate into the classroom this time. Kate also sits with Gloria during class. It was a shocking moment for Gloria, Kate and their best friend. After Cake told his friends that he was going overseas, they asked him what he was going to do about his girlfriend since he was going overseas. Who knows, it was only when they asked that they realized that Cake can't even told his sister about it yet. So everyone urges him to tell Sister Lynn about it. Although Vanilla has rejected Pig, it doesn't stop Pig from going to Cake and trying to get closer to Vanilla. However, the closer Pig gets to Vanilla, the more frequently and obviously Fenella avoids him. With no choice but to gather his courage again, Pig showed his feelings to Fenella and hoped that she would stop avoiding his feelings. In the face of this affectionate boy's pursuit, Fenella still rejects Pig's love because she can't accept other people's gaze. However, afterward, she has some regrets and can only tell her friends to listen to her feelings. But her friend advised her that love is a two-person thing and that she shouldn't worry too much about it. Vanilla still thinks it's ridiculous to fall in love with her brother's friend. With Cake about to leave, will Gloria say what she likes and how will their relationship develop? At his friend's suggestion, Cake went to his schoolmate and told her about going abroad. While she didn't break up with her, she said she wanted Cake to be with her more before she left the country. Who knows, such a request was directly rejected by Cake. Because in his opinion, the most important thing he wants to do before going abroad is to spend more time with Gloria. Not only that, when the schoolmate expressed all kinds of dissatisfaction with Gloria, Cake wanted to defend Gloria without thinking, and said that he had already apologized to Gloria because he hadn't even spent much time with Gloria. Cake even chose to be the first to break up with his sister when she was angry, which made her turn away in anger straight after hearing that. While Cake was a little sad because he broke up with Lynn, he didn't show any such feelings when he told Gloria about their breakup. He also said that his schoolmate wasn't as patient as Gloria, and was able to be willing to wait for him so patiently all the time. Gloria held back her tears, wished Cake a safe journey, and hugged him goodbye. Only Gloria still didn't fulfill her promise to Cake that she wouldn't cry. He cried so hard that Kate couldn't help it either. He went back to hugging Gloria, and it was a very sad separation. I don't believe it when I say that these two don't have a heart for each other. Gloria originally thought she could live a good life, but when Kate left, Gloria felt the powerlessness of losing the center of gravity in her life. Although the first thing she did when she got home was to turn on her computer so that she could communicate with Kate to comfort her longing for him. Because Gloria can't forget the laughter Cake used to bring to her, whether it's at home or at school, wherever they spend time together. No matter what he does, Cake is always there in front of him. To this end, although he went to class, but the kind of depression in his body, simply not too obvious, which also made the two friends aside very worried. Lonnie decides to go to Gloria's house to sleep with her on vacation to help lift his spirits. Gloria is so sick over Cake's absence that she keeps her computer on day after day, waiting for news from Cake in his home country. Gloria's brother, Clive, was very distressed when he saw this, and he couldn't bear to see Gloria in this state all day long. He told Gloria that even if she wants to communicate with Cake, 
she should be aware of the time difference between the two countries. The older brother is worthy of being an older brother, and he got to the heart of the matter in a flash. After all, both are humans who need sleep. Brother Clive also asked Gloria to be sure to live a good life. Cake wasn't the only one in his life, and that Gloria could take this time to grow up and become independent. Gloria then begins to rethink the future. At night, Gloria comes to a friend's house to stay the night. When it's time to talk to her friend, he politely suggests that Gloria find something to do to distract herself, and invites Gloria to join his drama club again. With the guidance of her brother and friends, Gloria decides to fulfill her promise. To Kate and agrees to join the school's drama club. Because of him, it was a hard decision to take this step, and he managed to get out of his comfort zone afterward. Although it was a little difficult at first, Gloria was able to get along well with everyone in the club. Besides making other friends, he also got the opportunity to perform on stage. After the performance, on the drama club stage ended successfully. Cake's best friends came over to congratulate Gloria and present him with flowers. Of course, the reason why they did this was to take good care of Gloria for Cake, who was far away from home. They also said that they would like to take photos with Gloria and send them to Cake, who can come to see them. That was another thing that caused Gloria a moment of gloom and doom. Only now Gloria doesn't show her emotions so easily. Now he was in the mood to joke around with his friends. What he didn't know was that while Gloria was having fun taking pictures with her friends, there was another person not far away who was silently captured by Gloria. His eyes could never leave Gloria, and Gloria's peach blossom unfolded silently without him realizing it. That said, when is Kate going to come back? If it doesn't come back, Gloria will become someone else's sooner or later, and it will be too late to regret. Time flies, and it's New Year's Eve in a blink of an eye. Gloria celebrated the new year at home with her friends, in laughter and in the company of her friends. Although Gloria still sees something that reminds him of his time with Cake, he has learned to digest the thoughts on his own, and is soon buzzing with his friends again. Time flies and it's time for Gloria and her friends to graduate from high school. After Gloria and her friends parted at the bus stop, she got on the bus home alone, alone with her memories of the two of them. The result is that the more Gloria thinks about it, the more she regrets the many opportunities she missed to make memories with Kate. At the same time, seeing that the three-year period they had agreed upon was approaching, Gloria couldn't help but eagerly look forward to Kate's return. He had a lot to tell Kate, so he wrote down all his feelings and sent them to Kate by email, hoping that he would be proud of himself now, and that he would be able to see himself as an independent socializer. I have to say that Gloria... Sitting alone in front of the computer and shedding tears is really heartbreaking. And Cake, who is far away from home, is listening to his sister's voice urging him to hurry up. Is this a sign that Cake's family is coming back home? Without realizing it, the two are about to meet each other. And this day, they waited for four years. After four years, Cake finally returns home. The first thing he did when he arrived home was to go to Gloria's house to find someone. Though Cake asked many times, he just didn't get his mom's permission, so he had to honestly go upstairs and sleep. After Cake finished his school business, he immediately contacted Gloria and asked where he was. When Gloria waited at the bus stop and saw Cake getting off the bus, the two of them expressed their longing for each other by giving each other a big hug and talking to each other about how much they had changed. The two of them gave each other a big hug to show how much they missed each other and talked to each other about how much they had changed. After some catching up, Cake followed Gloria to his house and said he would stay at Gloria's house. After arriving at Gloria's house, Gloria's mom and sister talked about how Gloria couldn't wait and teased Cake about becoming Gloria's schoolmate. And the way they ate together instantly brought people back to their childhood. It's only for years later. And Gloria has become more cheerful and socialized with many more friends that Cake isn't familiar with because of her efforts to change in the process. When Cake sees a picture of Gloria and Tasnim on the table, he gets jealous and asks about their relationship and asks Gloria to introduce her friends to him. This is when Gloria pushes him to take a shower. That night, the two share the same bed again after a long time. At first, they were both a little embarrassed. 
but after Gloria kept calling Cake's name and having Cake respond to him all the time, the atmosphere became natural and cousy. Cake also opened his arms for Gloria to cuddle with him as he did in the past. However, it hasn't been long since he returned, and Cake realizes what it's like to be ignored by Gloria. Gloria was on the phone with Tasnim for too long, which made Cake jealous and unhappy. He kept bothering Gloria, and in the end, he even angrily told Gloria to hang up the phone. This makes the innocent Gloria rush to find him socks and coax him with kind words. <laughs> Afterwards, the two of them went out on a date and ate an ice cream together. Gloria also took Cake, who was shopping for clothes, to a clothing store, and Cake was pampered by Gloria's help in matching his clothes. Cake is very happy with the clothes that Gloria picked out for him and accepts them all. The two of them were so happy, after coming back and staying with Gloria for a long time, Cake went to get together with his friends and learned the reason why Pig had changed. Everything is the way it used to be, although Cake was very disciplined while living in us. But after returning to Thailand for a while, his old habit of sleeping then pops up again as Gloria reappears in his life. This makes Gloria have to wake Cake up every day like she used to. Although Gloria curses and swears, she still takes care of him patiently and even causes herself to miss class roll call because of it. In the past, Gloria used to wait for Cake after school, but now it's the other way around. Cake waits for Gloria after school, and he wants to be close to Gloria at all times. When Cake is waiting for Gloria, he meets girls who talk to him. However, as soon as Cake sees Gloria, he leaves the girl and runs over to Gloria. The two of them were laughing and joking around as soon as they saw each other. In order to spend more time with Gloria, under Cake's pettiness and threats, Gloria finally nodded her head and agreed to stay in his room tonight. Then, he takes Cake to dinner. During the meal, the two of them met the seniors that Gloria knew from the drama club. After exchanging pleasantries with the seniors, Gloria and Cake started to tease each other about their popularity. Gloria also told Cake that she promised to model for Tasnim's photo shoot tomorrow. Cake was a little upset at the time once he heard that Gloria was going to be spending a couple hours with his senior. To that end, he volunteered to let Gloria take him alone. Gloria was very receptive to Cake's pampering behavior. Cake knew that Tasnim had ulterior motives for Gloria when he watched them interact. So, during the shoot, as soon as he saw Tasnim say that Gloria's bends were a bit messy, Cake went up ahead of him and helped Gloria fix her hair. With a very close look on his face, Tasnim instantly felt provoked by his love rival. Cake also hooked up with Gloria before leaving after the shoot, making it hard for Tasnim to watch. Even his good friend, the owner of the cafe, said that Tasnim was hopeless. In the evening, Gloria follows Cake to Cake's house by public transportation. Gloria follows Cake on the bus to Cake's home. After arriving home, Gloria also watched a movie with Cake and his sister and it didn't take long for the siblings to start fighting. The sister then blurted out that Cake was talking to a different girl every week in the us, which instantly brought Gloria's mood down. But at bedtime, Cake tells Gloria that he is abroad and not seeing anyone, in order to prevent her from continuing the misunderstanding. He also explains to Gloria what his sister just said, stating that he wants to tell Gloria everything about himself, and that he wants Gloria to treat him that way. Gloria agrees. But although he says he doesn't take it to heart, but in the middle of the night, he looks at Cake's sleeping face and has another complicated look on his face. The situation between Cake and Gloria is obvious to Gloria's close friends, and it's easy to see how much Cake cares about Gloria. But Gloria doesn't know it, and keeps thinking she's having a wishful crush. On this day, while Cake was waiting for Gloria, he was doing his homework in the yard by himself and was worried that he couldn't open the file, but you passed by and helped him solve his computer problem. Cake takes this opportunity to ask you about Gloria's past few years and the relationship between Mr. Tasnim and Gloria. However, since you and Tasnim aren't familiar with each other, he tells Cake that if he has any questions, it's best to ask Gloria herself. Cake watches Gloria rehearse at the theater, but since it's close to the drama club's performance, Gloria is worried about Cake. Seeing as he's busy with his own department's homework and always waiting for him to come home from rehearsals with him every day. 
Gloria asked Kate not to wait for him from tomorrow onwards, and said that she could go home with Tasnan after rehearsal. These words broke Kate's heart. He mistakenly thought that Gloria wanted to stay with Tasnan more than anything else, and was in a somewhat unhappy mood, packed up his things, and left. Gloria still doesn't know why Kate is so angry. After Kate left, Gloria talked to Stanford about Kate. Stanford is instantly helpless when he learns that Gloria is going home with Tasnan. On the way home, Tasnan is also very aggressive in approaching Gloria. Unfortunately, all of them were perfunctorily passed by Gloria and indirectly showed her feelings for Kate. After that, Gloria was upset that Kate didn't come to Gloria for a few days, so she talked to her friends. The two friends know that Gloria's problem is the biggest one just by hearing the reason, and they don't say anything about their jealousy, and they don't talk to each other about it, because they are worried that the other person is too tired. But the reality is that Gloria can only continue to be anxious, worrying about whether Kate will be pursued by someone else, but she is also too embarrassed to confess her feelings. While Gloria and her fans go to take pictures, the two best friends are still sympathizing with Kate. While on the other side, Kate was getting angry at his friends, eating and telling the other side about what was bothering him. But it's clear that the other side didn't even think that Kate would like Gloria and still thinks that the two of them are just a simple friendship, which makes Kate basically say the same thing for nothing. Soon it's time for the drama club's public performance, and Kate naturally won't miss Gloria's import performance day. But when he left the house, he was late because he didn't have his ticket with him, and by the time he entered the theater, the play was half over. But even so, he felt happy to see Gloria on stage. After the show, Gloria was getting more and more popular, and backstage there were many requests for photos, which Gloria agreed to take. Kate, on the other hand, felt the opposite, and was not happy to see Gloria surrounded by a bunch of people. The first thing that Kate did was to get jealous of Gloria, and then he made an irrational move. As soon as he took Gloria's hand, he pulled him away. Gloria, who was pulled away by Kate, endured the pain and told Kate to let go of his hand. Once they reached the stairwell, Kate started to lose his temper with Gloria, stubbornly believing that it was no longer important in Gloria's heart now, and said some things that made Gloria feel bad. This made Gloria very angry too, and even said angry words that he didn't want to see Kate again in the future, and finally left in tears. After the incident, Cake finally realizes his impulsiveness. He cries and tells his friends that he is torn up inside. Nowadays, Gloria is no longer running after him like she used to, which makes him miss the past and the only time he had is Gloria. After a fight, he doesn't want to go back to his room without Gloria and decides to go to his best friend Art, whom he met in college, to join him in a drinking game. Cake's drinking results in him getting straight up drunk. Art eventually can't stand him like this and has to call Gloria on her own cell phone and ask him to come over. Gloria rushed to the bar after learning that Cake was drunk and changed her clothes. While Cake wasn't quite conscious, he not only recognized Gloria, but he also knew to act pathetic to soften Gloria's heart. So, with Gloria's help, the two of them went back to Cake's room together. After returning to Cake's room, Cake regained a little bit of his sanity. But because of Gloria's chanting, he starts to dwell on his position in Gloria's heart again and expresses his dissatisfaction. This causes Gloria's years of pent-up aggression to completely explode. Gloria confesses her feelings to Kate. Who in turn confesses his love for Gloria and asks her to be his boyfriend. Gloria is reluctant to do so, because Kate used to like girls, and because he cares about his family and other people's opinions. But for all the things that Gloria was worried about, Kate said that there was no need to worry. As long as the other person is Gloria, no matter if the other person is a man or a woman, Kate can accept it. Kate also said that if the two of them share the same feelings, they can't overcome all the difficulties. 
Gloria listens to Keke's sincere confession and agrees with tears in her eyes. In the end, the two also successfully sublimated their feelings for each other in this night and became lovers. Although Kate became Gloria's real boyfriend, the next day at school, in front of Gloria and her friends, he was willingly forced by his boyfriend to read an article about the side effects of alcohol addiction. While reading the article, he can't help but flirt with and kiss Gloria, which makes the friends decide to avoid the sweetness and come back at a later date to ask Gloria what's going on with Kate. After Kate and Gloria confirmed their relationship, he was practically defenseless against Gloria, not only gawking at her all the time on campus, but also wanting to kiss and cuddle her all the time. Later, he even changed their social networking relationships when Gloria wasn't looking, making their relationship as a young couple completely public. Gloria only found out when she received a message from her best friend and immediately woke up Keek and questioned him about it. As a result, he naturally falls prey to his partner's sweet words and is powerless to resist, so he has to sulk on his own. As the two get sweeter and sweeter, Gloria's friends are certain that the two have come together and are happy and supportive of Gloria finally ending her unrequited love. On this day, Cake and his friends meet at his house to give a presentation, but before his friends arrive, Cake is jealous of seeing Gloria in super short pants, showing off her white legs, and immediately tells Gloria to go change into a pair of long pants. Gloria won't even go out of her room to meet Cake's friends, though. When Cake's friends arrive, Cake is also trying to protect Gloria, especially since one of the friends is a fan of Gloria. Cake is much less likely to let his friends bother him, and the various vows of sovereignty make his friends feel the sweet scent of love and start flirting. But Cake is not amused. Tired of playing with his friends, Cake exchanged goodnights with his friends, who had stayed over in the living room and went to his room to sleep by himself. When Cake entered the room, he saw Gloria in the bed, who had just woken up. Cake thought he had woken Gloria up, but it turned out to be Gloria, who was having a restless sleep because of Cake's absence. This made Cake feel pity for her again, and looking at such a lovely Gloria, Cake couldn't hold back at that time, and jumped on her, and came to a sweet confession, so that Gloria successfully devoted herself to her own everything, and Cake accomplished the passionate moments in the same night. The next day, Gloria woke up first, got out of bed and went out to make breakfast, and his action also woke up Cake's friend, who took the initiative to come up to help Gloria, who was going to make breakfast, as a helper. After all, this is a rare chance for him to get close to his idol, and he also asks Gloria about him and Cake. Just as Gloria is talking about the past, Cake shows up. Cake naturally won't let anyone get close to Gloria, male or female, no matter what the other person is so he quickly comes out to assert his sovereignty and also asks his best friend to settle down and not let Gloria out of his line of sight for too long. He also volunteered to take over the task of making breakfast, making Gloria feel a little shy but extra happy. After breakfast, the two of them left for school together. When they arrive at school, Cake walks Gloria to the theater and interacts with her sweetly in front of the theater, which makes the people who covet him very sad. After school, when they meet to discuss what to eat, Cake even boldly flirts with Gloria, causing Gloria to be embarrassed and shy. Even during dinner, Gloria is attacked by the other men. Gloria and Cake, who have not been home for a long time, finally set off for home after a sweet morning. The two of them get out of the car and happily plan what to do afterward, only to arrive at the front of the store just now only to see that their store is open but unattended. This time, when they went in to check, they suddenly realized that their mother had fainted in the bathroom. Luckily, Cake was busy beside them and managed to send their mother to the hospital for emergency treatment. Gloria's brother, Clive, and sister, Fenella, also rushed to the hospital to comfort Gloria, who was blaming herself. It was only after the doctor's advice that Gloria realized that her mother was seriously ill. Not to mention that her mother's illness was related to her father, which was unbelievable to Gloria's siblings. Although Gloria is devastated, she still manages to take care of her mother, occasionally borrowing Cake's shoulder to lean on. After learning that Gloria's family is in trouble, a few friends come to visit with her after being informed of the situation. 
they all come to give Gloria support and encouragement. Dick is the only one who comes with a personal agenda, and takes the initiative to invite Fenella for a private talk, so that he can take advantage of the situation to confess his love and become Fenella's shoulder. The two of them naturally talk about the love that they didn't talk about when they were young. Now that Pick has grown up, Fenella naturally has no reason to stop his quest, so she quickly agrees to Pick's subsequent courting actions at his request. Maybe knowing that her life is coming to an end, while she still has the strength, Gloria's mother calls her children one by one to talk. When it's Gloria's turn, she looks at Gloria with a look of sadness and asks Cake to be by Gloria's side all the time like this in the future. Cake naturally agrees. Gloria's mother passed away after a long illness. At the funeral, Gloria and her siblings cried uncontrollably. Friends and family came to offer their condolences and encouraged them to get well soon. Cake's family naturally came and comforted Gloria. Cake, who is Fenella's suitor, is trying to help Fenella at a time when she's vulnerable without a pillar of support, hoping that his presence will comfort her. At the funeral, Gloria's father comes to pay his respects, but Gloria is reluctant to talk to her father, no matter how much Clive and Fenella try to persuade her to do so. After returning home, Gloria discovers her mother's unfinished medication, which she's sorting through her mother's belongings. This makes him feel remorseful for not realizing his mother's condition, earlier due to his negligence in taking care of her. Tears were streaming down his face, but luckily he was comforted by his siblings. Taking advantage of the fact that Gloria went to change her mood, Gloria's brother Clive also specially asked for help when he was alone with Kate, hoping that Kate could help persuade Gloria to talk to her father. He doesn't want the two of them to have regrets because of Gloria's not. Cake intends to do the same, so that night, while consoling Gloria, Cake opened up to her, which made Gloria willing to let go of her prejudices, and agreed to meet her father the next day. After talking to her father, Gloria finally managed to mend her relationship with him in a hug. After the death of her mother, everyone's life is back on track. Take who has already become a college student, finally gets Gloria's recognition for her hard work and even secretly helps pull strings by giving Pick information about the company Fenella works for, so that Pick can pick up his sister during his off-duty hours. The fact that Pick has worked so hard to get to this point, Fenella has long been impressed by his pursuit of his heart. So, with Fenella's tacit approval, the two also set off hand in hand and successfully hold each other's feelings. After that, Gloria's family not only gave birth to Vanilla and Pig as a pair of lovers, even her brother Clive was interested in Cake's sister, and even managed to get together with each other. The family of six often get together for dinner and have a great time. Gloria also receives frequent calls from her father to check in on her. After her mother passed away, her father took over the parental role, and Gloria was happy to see her family in harmony. After that, Gloria wrote a book about her experience. Once published, it was so well received that even his close friends became his books. They even asked Gloria to sign the book for them at a dinner party. At the peak of his life, Gloria spends time with Cake on a daily basis. He tells Cake about the books he has read on the 12% theory of love, only to be met with sweet words from Cake, who says that Gloria is the only person he is in love with in the 12%. Gloria was so shy that she hurriedly changed the subject and tried to leave, but Cake pulled her over and leaned on his shoulder. This is where the story ends. Although Gloria and Cake's story is over, I believe their love will continue in some parallel time and space. It's not easy to meet someone you love and who loves you, and it's a very lucky thing. I hope you can be brave enough to grasp your love when it comes your way. Well, that's the end of this installment. If you have any drama that you want to watch, you can leave the name of the drama in the comment section. See you next time.